Welcome to our video about 55 incredible inventions by black inventors that changed the world. For a long time, the media didn't talk much about the achievements of black inventors, making it seem like they weren't as smart or talented. In school, we learn about inventions like the light bulb and electricity. From inventors like Thomas Edison, Nikola Tesla, Albert Einstein, and Benjamin Franklin. But we often don't hear about the amazing inventions made by black inventors. It's time to change that. Today, we're going on a journey to discover a legacy that has been overlooked for too long. This video will share the untold stories of 55 black inventors who made inventions that changed our lives. These inventors faced challenges like slavery, discrimination, and racism, but their intelligence and determination pushed them to break through these barriers. Before we dive into the video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you can stay updated on this eye-opening black history series. Number 1. X-Ray Spectrometer George Edward Alcorn, an African-American inventor, is best known for creating the X-Ray Spectrometer in 1984. He received the NASA Goddard Space Flight Center Award for Inventor of the Year. The X-Ray Spectrometer is a crucial scientific tool used in various fields. Scientists can use it to figure out what unknown materials are made of, find impurities or contaminants, and assess the quality of substances. It's also essential in archaeology and art restoration. Researchers use it to study ancient artifacts, paintings, and cultural heritage items without causing damage. By knowing what these objects are made of, they can learn about their origin, age, and authenticity. In 2015, Alcorn was honored by being inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame for his invention of the X-ray spectrometer. Number 2. Illusion Transmitter Valerie Thomas, an African-American inventor, created one of the most remarkable inventions of the 20th century, which still has applications today. She's credited as the inventor of the illusion transmitter, a device that can send three-dimensional images over a distance, making them look like they're right in front of you. To explain it simply, think of your TV projecting a three-dimensional image into your living room. This illusion is created by using concave mirrors at both ends of the transmission. The result is a lifelike, three-dimensional image on the receiving end. This brilliant invention made Thomas one of the most prominent black inventors of the 20th century. NASA continues to use her technology and is exploring ways to use it in surgical tools and possibly in television and video. Number 3. Traffic Signals The traffic signals we see today have made our roads safer. But not many know that these signals were inspired by an invention by Garrett Morgan, a black inventor. He lived in Cleveland, Ohio, and was the first black person in the city to own a car. In 1922, Garrett Morgan saw an accident between a horse-drawn carriage and a car. This accident motivated him to find a way to prevent such accidents in the future. At that time, police officers were in charge of directing traffic, but it was hard for drivers to see them. The officers' signals were limited to just stop and go, which made it challenging for drivers to navigate through traffic. To address this problem, Morgan came up with a new idea. He invented a traffic signal with folding arms that had signs saying stop and go. This signal would be placed on a post above the road, making it easier for drivers to see. He also added a third position where the signal could be raised halfway indicating caution. This was similar to the modern yellow signal that we see today. To operate the signal, a traffic attendant would turn a crank to raise the post and show the appropriate sign. If necessary, the attendant could stop all lanes by displaying the stop sign. Morgan patented his invention in 1923 and sold the rights to General Electric for $40,000. Number 4. Gas Masks, another of Garrett Morgan's inventions. Garrett Morgan is famous for inventing the modern traffic signal, but he accomplished much more. In 1912, he filed a patent for the first gas mask. It wasn't until two years later that his idea gained popularity when a group of workers got stuck in a tunnel below Lake Erie after an explosion. Morgan and a team of men wore the gas mask to rescue them, and the rescue was a success. Morgan's gas mask used a moist sponge to filter out smoke and cool the air. It took advantage of the fact that smoke and fumes tend to rise, leaving a layer of breathable air below. The mask had an air intake tube that dangled near the floor to draw in clean air. This invention saved many lives during its use, and in 1914, Morgan received a patent for the gas mask. He was also awarded a gold medal by the International Association of Fire Chiefs for his remarkable invention. 
Garrett Morgan's gas mask was a crucial tool for emergency respiration and played a significant role in ensuring the safety of those who used it. Number 5. Home Security STEM In the 1960s, America faced many dangers, and for a black woman named Marie Van Britten Brown, life at home was often filled with worry. Her husband had a job with odd hours, leaving her alone at night, and their neighborhood had a high crime rate. Marie had a big concern. The police took a long time to respond to emergencies. To address this problem, Marie came up with something groundbreaking when she was 40 years old, the first ever home security system. Marie's invention consisted of four small windows, a movable camera, TV screens, and microphones. These components worked together to keep her home safe. The cameras could move from one window to another, and they were connected to TV screens inside Marie's house. Using these screens, Marie could see who was at her door without having to physically go there or open the door. The microphones played an important role too. They allowed her to talk to the person outside without having to face them directly or open the door. Marie Van Britten Brown's creation of the home security system had a profound impact on the security systems we use today. Her innovative idea paved the way for further developments and improvements in security systems, still in use today. Number 6. Folding. In 1885, an African-American inventor named Sarah Good introduced a remarkable invention designed for maximum comfort. Her patented folding bed would later inspire the modern-day Murphy bed. As the owner of a furniture store, she saw a business opportunity and took a bold step to make life more comfortable for people. Sarah Good was motivated to help when she learned about the limited space in Chicago apartments. She devised a solution, a bed that could fold up and be hidden, much like the Murphy bed we know today. It was like a cabinet that could transform into a desk, complete with spaces for writing supplies. Sarah's goal was to make the bed easy to lift and secure in its folded position, while also providing extra support in the middle when unfolded. In 1885, Sarah Good became one of the first African-American women to receive a patent for her invention of the folding bed. Her innovative idea not only improved living spaces, but also contributed to the convenience and comfort of people's homes. Number 7. The Protective Mailbox In October 27, 1891, a man named Philip B. Downing did something incredible. He got a special permission to make something that changed how we send and receive our letters. He made what we now call the mailbox, the thing you see on the streets where you can put your letters any time of the day. Before this, in the early 1800s, people in the United States had to go to the post office to send and get their mail. That meant they had to travel long distances sometimes, which was not very convenient. So, they needed a better way to do it. That's when Downing came up with the idea for the mailbox we all know. It's a metal box with four legs. This mailbox made it possible for people to send letters without going to the post office. It had a door that kept the mail safe from bad weather like rain and snow. It also made sure that the mail was secure until the postal workers came to pick it up. This mailbox became the basis for the mailboxes we use today. Number 8. Blood Banks it's hard to know how many people would have lost their lives if it wasn't for Dr. Charles Drew, an African-American inventor. He was a doctor, a scientist, and a surgeon. He changed the way we understand something important called blood plasma. Thanks to his work, we have something called blood banks. During World War II, there were many people who needed blood transfusions because of injuries, but there were problems with storing and keeping blood for a long time. Dr. Drew saw this problem and started looking for a solution. He found a way to keep blood plasma, a crucial part of blood, separate from the rest of the blood. This helped the plasma last longer and still save lives. He also had the idea of collecting, testing, and storing blood so it could be used for transfusions when needed. His work not only saved lives during the war, but also led to better ways to give blood when people are sick or hurt. His ideas and inventions laid the foundation for the modern blood banking system we have today. Number 9. The Reversible Stroller Today, we have strollers and baby carriages that can be turned around to face the parent or the outside. And we owe this innovation to an African-American inventor named W. H. Richardson. The first baby carriage was made back in 1733 for a duke, but it was too fancy and expensive for regular folks to use. However, in 1889, Richardson came up with a new kind of baby carriage. It was more efficient and didn't cost as much. This carriage had wheels that could turn all the way around and a bus in it that could face either the parent or outward. 
Over a hundred years later, his invention is still popular among parents. Number 10. Airplane Propelling The Wright brothers are famous for making the first practical airplane. They also made a type of propeller for the airplane. But it was not just them, there were other inventors, including African Americans, who improved the mechanics of airplanes. In 1920, an African American inventor named James Sloan Adams got a patent for a better way to make airplane. Let's move forward. He used a spring to store up energy and use it to push the airplane forward. His invention helped improve how airplanes worked. Number 11. Folding Chair On July 7, 1911, an African-American man named Nathaniel Alexander from Lynchburg, Virginia, came up with a clever idea and got a patent for it. He created a special kind of chair that could fold up. He designed this chair to be used in places like schools, churches, and big halls where people gather. What made his folding chair special was that it had a little shelf attached to it. Like a small table, the person sitting in the chair behind could use this shelf to put their books or other things on. It. This made the chair very useful, especially in places like churches where people needed a place to put their prayer books, hymnals, or Bibles during the church service. It was also handy for choirs because they could put their music on the chair in front of them. Although Nathaniel Alexander was not the first person to patent a folding chair, his idea of adding a little shelf made it unique and practical for these places. Number 12. Automatic Railroad Car Coupler Andrew Jackson Beard, an African-American inventor, was born a slave in Jefferson County, Alabama. When he turned 15, he gained his freedom, and he started working as a farmer. Later, he built and ran a flour mill, in 1890, while living in Woodlawn. Beard came up with a smart invention. He made improvements to a thing called the Janney Coupler, which was used to connect railroad cars together. Before Beard's invention, people had to do this job manually, and it was very dangerous. Beard himself had lost a leg in an accident while doing this job. Thanks to Beard's invention, this dangerous task could be done automatically. He received a patent for his innovation, and he even sold the first patent for a large sum of money, equivalent to a lot in today's currency. His invention was the first automatic coupler widely used in the United States. In the same year his first invention was patented, the U.S. Congress passed a law making it illegal to operate any railroad car without an automatic coupler. Beard's invention changed the way things worked in the railroad industry. Number 13. Ventilated Shoes In 1890, a man named Henry Falconer got a patent for something called ventilated shoes. This was a big deal in the world of footwear at that time. Unlike the shoes we have today, which often use breathable materials, Falconer's design was innovative for its time. Falconer's shoes had a special feature that allowed air to flow in and out of the shoe. He put tiny holes in the insoles of the shoes to let fresh air come in without any problems. He also added a rubber bubble under the heel, connected to an open tube that helped air circulate. So, every time you took a step, the foul air got pushed out, and fresh air came in. Falconer's invention made shoes more comfortable and better for your feet. He got his patent in April 1890 and made a positive impact on the world by providing people with shoes that helped keep their feet comfortable and healthy. Number 14. Improved Pencil Sharpener An African-American inventor named John Lee Love came up with a great idea to make pencil sharpening easier and more convenient. He created a portable pencil sharpener that also served as a paperweight and a decoration for your desk. This pencil sharpener had a circular casing with a central chamber. The top edge of the casing had gear teeth that helped sharpen the pencil. In the middle of the chamber, there was a raised part that held a small arm with the sharpener attached. When you inserted a pencil and applied slight pressure, the arm rotated quickly, sharpening the pencil efficiently. The pencil shavings dropped into the chamber, and when needed, you could take the sharpener out and empty the shavings. This invention made it easier for people to keep their pencils sharp, and it also looked nice as a desk accessory. Number 15. Rotary Egg Beater In 1884, a man named Willis Johnson came up with a fantastic invention that changed the way people cooked. He created a device that could whisk eggs and other ingredients quickly by turning a handle. This invention made cooking easier and saved a lot of time. The rotary egg whisk was small and easy to use, but it was powerful enough to make a big difference in the kitchen. Even today, modern egg beaters and electric mixers still use the same basic principle that Johnson came up with over a century ago. His invention made a huge impact on cooking, 
and he received a patent for it. Willis Johnson's idea is still important in the world of cooking and has a special place in culinary history. Number 16. Innovations in Fiber Optics Manufacturing A while back, there were some amazing improvements in how they made fiber optic cables. This led to an African-American inventor named Thomas Mensa coming up with a new way to make these cables super fast in 1985. Before his invention, they could only produce these cables at a rate of about 2 to 3 meters per second, but with his brilliant idea, they could now make them at a super speedy rate of 20 meters per second. This was a big deal because it meant that they could sell fiber optic cables for prices similar to copper cables. As time went on, they kept improving the manufacturing process, and it eventually got even faster, reaching 50 meters per second. Thanks to Thomas Mensa's innovation, we got to enjoy the benefits of fiber optic communication and advances in technology. His work made a big difference. Number 17. Pasting Apparatus Once upon a time, a person named Robert A. Pelham came up with a smart way to put glue on paper strips used for keeping data in books or sheets. His invention was like a box with a sloping bottom that held the glue. There was a roller that had a never-ending strip of material that dipped into the glue and a floating roll that made sure the strip was tight. They also had a multi-blade scraper for controlling the pace of the glue deposit and keeping the strip just right. Stretcher rods made sure the strip didn't get all tangled up on the roller. This invention made the process of putting glue on paper strips way better. It saved glue, made the work cleaner and faster. Thanks to Robert A. Pelham's invention, the way they did the census, which is when they count people and collect information, got a lot better. It helped make sure they got more accurate and complete data. Number 18. A nifty gadget for lubricating steam engines. There was a person named Elijah McCoy who had a little workshop at home in Ypsilanti, Michigan. In 1872, he came up with something really cool. He invented an automatic device for putting oil in the steam engines of trains and ships. He even got a patent for it, calling it an improvement in lubricators for steam engines. These automatic lubricators were a big deal for the railroads, because they made trains run faster and more profitably. They didn't have to stop as often for oiling and fixing stuff. By 1899, almost all the railroads in North America were using McCoy's lubricator. It was a big deal and made a lot of things run smoother. Number 19. A device for people with missing limbs. There was a lady named Bessie Blount who worked at the Bronx Hospital in New York when she was 37 years old. She came up with an electric gadget that helped people with missing limbs feed themselves. She used plastic that could be molded when you put it in hot water and some basic tools like an ice pick and a hammer to make her first version of the device. This invention had a tube that carried small bites of food to the person's mouth. The person would bite down on the tube, and then the next bit of food would come out of the machine attached to it. This was a big deal because it meant that people with missing limbs could feed themselves without needing help from others. Today, Bessie Blonde is known for inventing the first electric device to help amputees feed themselves. It made a big difference in their lives. Number 20. The control unit for the artificial cardiac pacemaker. An artificial cardiac pacemaker is a special medical tool that helps keep our hearts in good working order. It does this by regulating the electrical signals in our hearts, ensuring they beat regularly. This pacemaker has two important parts, the pulse generator and the control unit. The control unit is sometimes called the programmer or external programmer. Doctors and other healthcare experts use this device to talk to and set the artificial cardiac pacemaker just right. With it, they can change many different things about the pacemaker to match what a specific patient needs. Otis Boykin, an African-American inventor, gets the credit for inventing a control unit for the artificial cardiac pacemaker. Number 21. The Mechanical Planter A long time ago, when unfair treatment and discrimination were very common, a black inventor came up with two amazing farming tools, the seed planter and the cotton planter. Henry Blair was his name, and he became the second African-American inventor to get a U.S. patent. His first invention, the seed planter, got patented on October 14, 1834. This clever device helped farmers plant more corn with less hard work and in less time. Then, on August 31, 1836, he got a second patent for the cotton planter. This invention worked by splitting the ground with two shovel-like blades, pulled along by a horse. A wheel-driven cylinder followed behind, dropping seeds into the freshly plowed ground. 
Blair had been a successful farmer for many years, and he came up with these inventions to make farming more efficient. What's even more amazing is that Blair couldn't read or write, and he never went to school, but he still created inventions that are useful even today. Number 22, the hairbrush. Back in the late 1800s, someone named Newman invented a hairbrush that used synthetic bristles instead of animal hairs, which were commonly used in brushes at the time. This made the brush more long-lasting. What's even better is that it was easy to take apart for cleaning because it had a part at the bottom that could be removed from the back. Newman's patent described her hairbrush as simple and strong while being very effective. Her hairbrush was a clear improvement and it quickly became more popular because it worked so well. Because she was the first to create a hairbrush with synthetic bristles, Newman became well known as a top female inventor. Her invention has gone through many changes and improvements, but it's still a must-have item today. Number 23, gas furnaces in the early 1900s. Back in the early 1900s, central gas heating systems didn't exist yet. People had to rely on burning coal or wood to keep their homes warm. Even though furnaces and central heating systems had been around since the days of the Roman Empire, not much progress had been made in this field. The methods for heating homes by the end of the 19th century were still quite basic. One person who felt the need for a better way to heat homes was Alice Parker, an African-American inventor. She lived in Jersey, where the winters can get really cold. She knew that relying on a simple fireplace wasn't enough to keep her home warm, so she decided to design something new the first gas furnace powered by natural gas. What made her invention truly groundbreaking was that it included individually controlled air ducts that could distribute heat evenly throughout a building. To explain this in a more technical way, Alice Parker's heating system used separate burner units that brought in cold air. This air was then passed through a heat exchanger and the warm air was sent into individual ducts. This allowed people to control the amount of heat in different areas of their homes, a bit like zone heating. In 1935, scientists made further improvements to Parker's idea by creating forced convection wall heaters. These heaters used a coal furnace, an electric fan, and ductwork throughout a home. Nowadays, we use thermostats and forced air furnaces, which can be traced back to Alice Parker's original design and her invention of central heating. Number 24. The Evolution of Paper Bags William Purvis, an African-American inventor and businessman in the late 1800s, made several important inventions. One of his most impressive contributions was to the development of paper bags. Purvis was deeply interested in paper bags and continuously worked on improving how they were made. Over the course of 13 years, he was granted at least six different patents related to paper bag technology. In August 1890, he received a patent for an improved paper bag machine that produced satchel bottom shopping bags, more efficiently and with greater automation than any previous machinery. His machine used to suction formers with perforated surfaces. These formers shaped the bag by creating grooves at different positions along the length of the paper tube. This design was a significant advancement in paper bag manufacturing and paved the way for the paper bags we use today. Paper bags have become a vital part of our lives, as they are a safe and eco-friendly way to store food without harmful chemicals or toxins. Number 25, the mechanical cigarette roller in 1897. James Sweeting came up with a clever device that made it much easier to roll your own cigarettes. This device, described in AU's patent, had two main parts, a cylindrical rod for holding the tobacco and a mechanism for securing the cigarette paper. By using this device correctly, anyone could effortlessly create a perfectly shaped cigarette. This invention was a game changer for regular cigarette smokers. Because it allowed them to roll their own cigarettes, rather than relying solely on cigarette manufacturers, it gave individuals the power to craft cigarettes according to their preferences, providing a more personalized smoking experience. To use the device, one would place the tobacco inside the cylindrical rod and carefully insert the cigarette paper into the designated mechanism. Once everything was in place, the user could then roll the rod, neatly wrapping the paper around the tobacco to create a well-formed cigarette. Sometimes, it was necessary to moisten the paper along the rolling line to ensure that the cigarette held together properly and didn't unravel. Number 26. The Clothes Rack for Beds a lady named Henrietta Bradbury came up with an idea for a special rack that you could attach to the bottom of your bed. 
This rack was designed to help you hang your clothes like shirts and pants, so they could get some fresh air after you've worn them. She even got a patent for it. Henrietta's invention was pretty clever. It had a collapsible design and some pedals to help open and close it. The main goal of this invention was to let people air out their bedsheets and clothes after using them. That way, everything would stay fresh and clean for the next time you needed them. The bed attachment had two parts that you could clamp onto the legs of your bed. It also had these extensions with pedal thingies that, when you stepped on them, would make the rack expand. At the time when Henrietta and Bradbury came up with this idea, it was a simple and practical way to keep your bed clothes fresh and ready for use. The design made it easy to use, and it did a good job of keeping your bed sheets and clothes clean and well ventilated. Number 27, the improved door lock. Back in 1889, a person named W. A. Martin had a fantastic idea for a new kind of lock. This was a pretty big deal because it improved on an old lock design that had been around for over 4,000 years. The old locks were not very secure because they could easily be opened with a thin tool. Martin's invention fixed that problem. His new lock had a square bolt that would stay inside the door when it was open, but as soon as you closed the door, this bolt would automatically come out and lock it. He used a mechanism with a yoke and a pivoted arm to keep the bolt in place to unlock the door. Martin added a trigger with a diagonal slot. When you close the door, the trigger would be pushed back, and this would let the bolt come out and lock the door. At the time, Martin's invention was a big deal because it made doors more secure. No longer could someone easily open the door with a simple tool. This invention also had a big impact on the world of locksmithing, because it gave locksmiths a better way to lock doors, leading to more advanced security systems. Number 28. The Lemon Squeezer John Thomas White came up with a nifty gadget for squeezing lemons to make lemonade. He wanted to be able to make lemonade without needing a bunch of extra stuff in the kitchen. So, he invented what we now call a lemon squeezer. John's lemon squeezer was pretty straightforward. It had a holder with a removable container inside it. There was a lower jaw that fit into a special groove on top of the holder, and there was an upper jaw attached to one side with a hinge. Both jaws had handles and were made to fit together just right. To use this squeezer, you'd put a halved lemon between the upper and lower jaws, then, when you squeeze them together, the juice would come out through tiny holes and collect in the container. After using it, you could easily take the container out to pour the juice. So, John's invention made it a breeze to make lemonade without a lot of fuss. It let you get all the juice out of your lemons and saved you from having to use lots of extra kitchen stuff. Number 29. The Invention of Non-Refillable Bottle Caps Back in 1899, a clever African-American inventor named Robert Reynolds, who was an expert in creating custom product packaging, received a patent for a unique invention. He designed something called a non-refillable bottle. This bottle had a special feature valve stoppers that were permanently attached to the bottle. These stoppers prevented people from using the bottle in unauthorized or incorrect ways. This invention was incredibly useful for products that needed to keep their original quality like medicines and food. It also made sure that no one could accidentally or on purpose refill the bottles with things that could make them dirty or dangerous. Because of this, the non-refillable bottle became a popular choice for products that required a high level of safety and cleanliness. Number 30. The Street Sprinkling System In 1879, a man named William Bingo was given a patent for an invention that improved the way streets, sidewalks, and lawns were watered. He created a street sprinkling apparatus made from pipes with holes in them. These pipes were connected to water sources and could be attached to the ground in various places, like sidewalks, streets, and roads. With William Bingo's invention, you could rotate the pipe to direct water to different parts of the street. This made it much easier to clean gutters and sprinkle water on sidewalks and roads. To keep the holes from getting blocked, the invention had a special shelter or guard. This apparatus could also be used for watering lawns and other purposes that needed horizontal water jets. This invention made sprinkling streets and sidewalks more precise, efficient, and less likely to have problems. Number 31. The Improved Gridiron Joseph Hawkins came up with an improved way to cook meat efficiently while keeping it tasty. He created something called an improved gridiron. This gridiron could be made in different shapes and from various materials. It consisted of bars that were shaped like curves, straight lines, or rectangles, placed next to each other. 
you'd put the meat you wanted to cook on these bars, and the heat could pass through the spaces between them, cooking the meat evenly. This gridiron was meant for heating or cooking meals, especially meat, and you could use it inside a fireplace or over a campfire. But, as time went on, people started using more convenient kitchen stoves, so the gridiron wasn't used as much. Number 32. The Voice Message Recorder. In 1931, Benjamin Thornton received a patent for an early version of what we now call an answering machine. This machine could automatically record phone messages. It had a turntable for a record disc, an electric motor to make the turntable spin, and an electric switch to connect it to the phone line. With a clock attachment, this machine could forward messages and keep track of when calls were made. It also let the user record an outgoing message. Devices to record phone messages existed as far back as the late 1800s, but Benjamin Thornton's invention was significant because it could both record and send messages. And it could also keep a record of when the messages were received. Number 33, the wooden portable fire escape. In the 1800s, fire escapes were mainly available for big buildings and not for houses, but a person named Daniel McCree came up with a solution. He created a lightweight fire escape made of wood that could be easily attached to window sills. This invention was meant for people living on the second or third floor who needed a way to escape, in case of a fire. The portable fire escape had a four-wheeled carriage with folding arms that could be moved to different rooms. This carriage held a safety cage, which could be raised and lowered using wire ropes and winding drums operated by a hand crank. Cleats on the cage kept it steady, and brace bars stopped it from swinging when someone got in. This fire escape also had a safety brake for controlled movement and a counterweight to prevent it from tipping over. When it wasn't needed, the cage and arms could be folded back onto the carriage. This invention made it possible for people to escape quickly from different rooms and floors during emergencies, making buildings safer. Daniel McCree received a patent for this invention in 1890. And even today, modern residential fire escapes are based on his design. Number 34, Casket Lowering Device. The casket lowering device is a creation by an intelligent African-American inventor named Albert C. Richardson. He came up with this invention to make the burial process better. It had a protective case made of metal placed in the hole where the casket goes. This case kept dirt from falling onto the casket. The device had a movable head connected to a screw. That allowed you to control how you lower the casket. There were arms on the device to hold the casket. Once the casket was lowered, you could move the arms out of the way, and it was easy to take the device out of the hole. This invention made sure that burials were safe and respectful, and it stopped the casket from falling. People felt at ease knowing this invention was used, and it's still used in all cemeteries today. Number 35. Refrigerated Trucks in the world of modern transportation and logistics, refrigerated trucks play a very important role. They help transport items that can go bad if they get too warm. One person behind this important invention was Frederick McKinley Jones, who was an African-American inventor. He was a clever thinker who changed the way we move and store things that need to stay cool. In the late 1930s, a businessman named Joseph Ang Numero needed a way to move items like food and medicine over long distances without them going bad. He asked Jones for help. Jones accepted the challenge and came up with a brilliant solution, a portable cooling system that could be added to regular trucks. This turned normal trucks into refrigerated vehicles, and they could now carry perishable items for long distances without spoiling. Jones's invention had a big impact on many industries, like food, medicine, and healthcare. It also made it easier to trade goods across the world because now they could travel far without getting ruined. Number 36. Automatic Elevator Doors On October 11, 1887, an inventor and businessman named Alexander Miles got a patent for something that would change how we use elevators in tall buildings forever. His invention, automatic elevator doors, might seem small, but it made using elevators much safer and simpler. His work earned him a spot in the National Inventors Hall of Fame. Miles saw how dangerous elevators were in the 19th century, because people had to open and close the doors manually. This put them at risk of falling down the elevator shaft, which could lead to terrible injuries. Miles' design included a flexible belt connected to the elevator cage, with drums that showed when the elevator reached a floor. When it did, the doors would open and close by themselves, thanks to levers and rollers. 
Even today, we see the influence of his elevator design in modern elevators, where doors open and close automatically, making them much safer. Number 37, Super Soaker. Summer just wouldn't be the same without Lonnie Johnson's invention. Johnson worked for NASA and came up with a fun toy that many children love. In 1982, he was working on a new kind of refrigeration system and ended up shooting a strong stream of water across his bathroom. This experiment led to the creation of the Super Soaker, a popular water gun for kids. Number 38, Tissue Holder. In the late 1970s, Mary Beatrice Davidson Kenner and her sister came up with a clever idea to make your visits to the bathroom more comfortable. They invented a toilet tissue holder that they both received a patent for. This invention aimed to solve the problem of struggling to find the loose end of a toilet paper roll, which often happens when the loose end is tightly stuck to the rest of the roll. Their invention ensures that the toilet paper is always easily accessible, making it much more convenient to grab a sheet when you need it. Number 39, Peanut Butter. When think of famous African-American inventors, one of the first names that comes to mind is George Washington Carver. He's well known for discovering more than 300 different uses for peanuts, such as making cooking oil, axo grease, and ink. Carver was a groundbreaking figure, becoming the first African-American student admitted to Iowa State. He excelled in botany and horticulture. After finishing his education, Booker T. Washington convinced him to lead the agriculture department at the newly established Tuskegee Institute. Although the job didn't pay much, Carver took it and excelled. While there, he developed a system of crop rotation that led to a surplus of peanuts, which, in turn, inspired him to create alternative uses for this versatile legume. George Washington Carver is the reason we have peanut butter today. Number 40, Laser Faco. Imagine living in a world where your vision goes from being blurry to total darkness for three decades. Before 1985, this was the reality for people with cataracts who were afraid of surgery involving a mechanical grinder. Dr. Patricia Bath, a renowned ophthalmologist and a remarkable black inventor, dedicated her life to preventing and treating visual impairments. She believed that everyone had the right to good eyesight. In 1985, she invented a specialized tool and procedure for removing cataracts, called the laser phaco probe. This invention greatly improved the accuracy and outcomes of cataract surgery, which had previously been done manually with a mechanical grinder. Thanks to the laser phaco probe and Dr. Bath's procedure, many individuals who had been blind due to cataracts for up to 30 years regained their sight. Number 41, Automatic Gear Shift. Richard Spikes was a well-known inventor who revolutionized the transportation industry with his inventions related to car gears and automatic transmission. He created the automatic gear shift to keep gears consistent for various speeds and help people drive up hills. In December 1932, Spikes received a patent for his automatic gear shift device, which was designed for use in automobiles and other motor vehicles. Number 42 Dustpan. The first dustpan was invented in 1858 by an American inventor named T. McNeil, who was granted a United States patent for it. However, it was Lloyd P. Ray who made significant improvements to the dustpan, giving us the design we're familiar with today. This African-American inventor enhanced the dustpan by adding a short wooden handle and a metal collection plate, and he received a patent for this invention in 1897. The addition of a metal plate and a short wooden handle allowed people to collect dirt and debris without getting their hands dirty. Due to its convenience, Ray's invention quickly became a household essential. Number 43, the wooden golf tee. Before Dr. George Grant came along, golf was quite different. Back then, in the late 19th century, golfers had to make their tees out of sand. Each golf course would provide a box of wet sand at every hole and golfers had to shape a little mound to place the ball on using their hands or a cone-shaped mold. In 1899, a dentist from Boston, Dr. George Grant, got fed up with this messy and time-consuming process. So, he came up with the idea of creating a wooden golf tee. However, it wasn't until another dentist, William Lowell, invented the ready-made tee. In the early 1920s that wooden tees became the common practice. Number 44, The Modern Toilet. Thanks to Thomas Elkins, your bathroom breaks are as comfortable as ever. Although he didn't invent the modern toilet, his improvements to the chamber commode served as an inspiration for the mechanics of the modern toilet. 
His patented design included several amenities like a bureau mirror, a book rack, a washstand, a table, an easy chair, and an earth closet or chamber stool. Over the years, the toilet underwent several modifications to become the porcelain throne we know today. Number 45, the stainless steel scouring pad. The scouring pad is a crucial part of kitchen cleaning, making it easier to remove. Burnt on messes from cast iron pots and pans, broilers, and stove burners. They're also handy for various cleaning tasks like tackling hard water stains in the bathroom, stubborn grease on grills, or soap scum in the shower. This useful invention was developed by an African-American named Alfred Benjamin. In 1962, he patented the stainless steel scouring pad, which later inspired many improvements, including the more commonly used plastic needle surface scouring pads. Number 46, the synchronous multiplex railway telegraph. Granville Taylor Woods, often referred to as the Black Edison, was a famous African-American inventor with over 50 patents to his name. One of his notable inventions was the synchronous multiplex railway telegraph. It allowed communication between train stations from moving trains by creating a magnetic field around a coiled wire under the train. In 1887, Woods used notes, sketches, and a working model to secure the patent. His invention was so successful that he started the Woods Electric Company to market and sell his patents. Thomas Edison later claimed ownership of the patent, but Woods successfully defended himself by showing that there were no other devices he could have relied upon to create his invention. Number 47, the foil electric microphone. In 1962, James Edward Macchio West and Gerhard Sessler invented the foil electric microphone while working on instruments for human hearing research. This microphone, compared to earlier condenser microphones, had higher capacitance and didn't require DC bias. West and Sessler optimized the mechanical and surface parameters of the system, creating a superior microphone. Nowadays, nearly 90% of the microphones produced annually are based on the principles of the foil electric microphone and are used in everyday items like telephones, camcorders, hearing aids, baby monitors, and audio recording devices, among others. Number 48, the self-lifting farm elevator. Around 1930, an African-American inventor named William Chester Ruth made a farm elevator better. It was like a steel slide with a chain and moving slats to carry things like grain, feed bags, hay bales, and corn into trucks, storage areas, or barns. What was special about Ruth's elevator is that it had two separate parts that worked together. One part moved things along, and the other part lifted the elevator up. You could change how high the elevator went by pulling a lever. This invention was used a lot, even in the mushroom industry in Chester County. Number 49, Street Sweepers. Street sweepers, the machines that clean our streets, became much better thanks to an African-American inventor named Charles Brooks. His idea was to make street sweepers faster and more efficient. At that time, there were other sweepers, but they weren't as good. Brooks created the first self-propelled street sweeper, a truck with brushes in front that spun around. These brushes could be changed, so they could also remove snow. He got a patent for his invention in 1896 and even made a special bag to collect the dirt. Brooks got the money to make his sweepers from Georgia. Halstead and Plummer as Page, they made the sweepers in Scranton, Pennsylvania, and they were a big success. The government in Pennsylvania gave them a contract worth a lot of money. And even the city of Buffalo, New York, liked Brooks' design and used it. Number 50, Clothes Ringer. In 1888, a woman named Ellen Eglin invented a cool thing called a clothes ringer. It had two wooden rollers attached to a handle. After washing clothes, you could put them between the rollers, and it squeezed out a lot of water. This made clothes dry faster. Even though her invention was popular for a long time, Eglin didn't get much credit or money for it. Sadly, because she was black during a time of racial discrimination, she had to sell the rights to her invention for just $18 to someone else. But her ringer later inspired the design of mops we still use today. Number 51, Bread Kneader. Joseph Lee was an African-American inventor who worked in the baking industry. He wanted to make bread in a faster and easier way, so he created a machine to knead the dough for bread. This machine was much quicker and more efficient than doing it by hand. He got a patent for it in 1894. A year later, 
He got another patent for a machine that made breadcrumbs because he had so much bread from his first machine. The Royal Worcester Breadcrumb Company used his invention to make breadcrumbs for restaurants. Lee's inventions became very popular, and many hotels and catering places used them. In 2019, he was even inducted into the American National Inventors Hall of Fame. Number 52, Pastry Fork. A simple sounding invention, the pastry fork was actually quite a big deal. It made making pastry and other kitchen tasks a lot easier. Before this invention, people had to knead pastry dough by hand, which was tough and made their arms hurt. The pastry fork made things more efficient and required less effort. You could use it for many things like beating eggs, thickening foods, making butter, mashing potatoes, and making salad dressings. Most importantly, it made kneading pastry dough a breeze. It improved people's lives and even led to more inventions like electric mixers that we still use today. Number 53. Steam-Operated Propeller Benjamin Thornton Montgomery, while enslaved in Mississippi, came up with an idea for a special kind of boat propeller that ran on steam. This propeller could be adjusted to cut through the water at different angles, which made it easier for boats to travel in shallow water. His design was efficient, but he couldn't get a patent for it because he was a slave and not a U.S. citizen at the time. Number 54. The Lawn Sprinkler An African-American inventor named Joseph H. Smith made a significant improvement to the lawn sprinkler. In 1897, he patented the first rotary head lawn sprinkler that could spray water into directions. He later received a second patent in 1898, making modifications and improvements to his original design. His invention eliminated the need to drag a hose over the lawn and move it frequently to water the lawn evenly. Number 55, the ringing mop. In 1893, Thomas W. Stewart devised an invention that made cleaning a lot easier. The ringing mop we use today was inspired by his invention, which provided a way to care for the slate stone or marble floors found in the homes of the aristocracy and later, the middle classes. Thanks to his invention of a clamping device that could squeeze water out of the mop. Using a lever, floor cleaning became a much less strenuous task. And there you have it, the incredible legacy of innovation and ingenuity from black inventors that has shaped our world. We've just scratched the surface of the many remarkable inventions, but we hope you've been inspired by these incredible stories. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more inspiring content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated on our upcoming videos. We'd also love to hear from you. Share in the comments below which inventor or invention amazed you the most. Bye-bye.